Thanks for stopping into the Perfect Storm Trading YouTube channel. Go to our website, perfectstormtrading.com. If you would like a chance to win a free copy of the Perfect Storm Trading Book and Indicator Package, go to our website. You will get a pop-up box on the front page. You can drop your first name and your email in, send it to us. We will send you one email back with instructions on how to enter the contest. We will not spam your email, nor will we pass your email on to anyone else. So if you want to get a shot at getting into this contest, go to PerfectStormTrading.com and sign up on our website. Hello again traders, it is Monday morning, August the 16th, 2021. I've got the Vedic chart up here this morning. I want to show you uh, what's happening with the Vedic timing windows. You can see here in the A3 panel, we've got this big bright green timing window that stretches into uh, the evening tonight. It's going to go until about uh, just about five o'clock 1700 now notice this uh, other windows we have in the a1 and a2 pane in the a2 pane we had the uh, this bright green window last night overlapping then we had the white window this morning and then we have another bright green window coming in it's running from about 11 o'clock till about uh, oh till about 220 this afternoon so from the prior videos you will recall that we also use the a1 panel to time moves inside those larger windows so what I want to show you here is in the a1 panel the bright green window we had a pivot high here setting up that short that was triggered in about 1908 last night that went right down to the white zone here which was the low that reversed back up to the green zone and that fired a short off that went to the end of that A2 zone and you want to pay attention to that because oftentimes the beginning or the end of the zone will be an important turning point then we have the white pane on the A2 over here and right at the very beginning of that window we just missed the overnight low now recall from the prior videos that we're going to get a significant pivot point in this A3 window in this wide zone in the A3 area here. We have a low in now. It's possible that that could be the low, but it's also possible that we could go up and make a new high or we could just trade down again and make a new low, a lower low before this window is up. Then this morning we've got the uh, the next zone that kicks in about uh, before 11 this morning we have the A1 panels got two bright green zones and a white uh, zone so what I did I drew the three vertical lines in the middle of those zones roughly and then I threw the rectangle up here to show you when those are going to come in so now I'm going to go uh, flip over to the pH chart I'll give you the pH times for today and we'll see if anything is overlapping in that zone so here's the pH chart. What I've done, I've drawn the uh, projections and I drew the uh, rectangle in from the Vedic timing window chart to show you those. Uh, so uh, we have three projection. I'm, I'm going to project these three points. I'm projecting this high from about 106. I'm projecting this high from 324 and then I'm projecting the overnight low from 624. Those project out to 721 we're right here now so this one we're going to be looking for a trigger right here the second projection is coming at uh, the 1028 area and then the final projections coming in near the end of that afternoon zone where I have the rectangle at about 214 so now I'm going to uh, give you the uh, regular uh, method uh, zones so those are the projections now the normal zones I'm going to drag this over and drop those in. So the first one was right there at that 
little high that triggered the short to the final low. The next one is the end of the P2 segment, which is very close to the other projection. That's going to be right where we at now. So you can see we've got these two in a confluence. So it looks like so far the first one may have taken priority as we turn down off of that. Now we'll see if, if we don't get another reversal bar right here, this thing should stay down for a bit. Uh, then we go to the end of the segment time, which is close to the other projection. So we've got another pair that are close, and that this uh, point's coming about 1040. And then we've got our two afternoon triggers. Again, these are very close to being in sync. That's about 208. And then the final point is going to be coming in at the end of this segment here on the P2 pane at, oh, uh, that's about 315. So there you go. There's the um, pH times for today. You see we've got four points that are sort of clustered together within a narrow time window. So those could all be good triggers. So there you have it. You got the timing windows. You got the pH turn times. That is it for today. We'll be back again tomorrow with another video. We'll see you then.